My favorite dessert is ice cream. But did you know that it has a secret ingredient? Air. The amount of air in the mixture is called overrun. In a magazine, I read that the more expensive the ice cream, the less overrun it has, so it melts slower. The purpose of my experiment was to compare four different brands of ice cream depending on their prices to check if my hypothesis was correct. The most expensive ice cream should be the one which takes more time to melt completely. Hi! These are going to be the materials that you will need to do my experiment. Some ice cream cones, a calculator, a paper towel, a outdoor thermometer, a scooper, a timer, and the ice creams. Are you ready to test? Let's go! Remember that your ice cream should have been stored at least 24 hours in the freezer. Number your cones to track better your observations and start serving your ice cream. Don't forget to keep them in the freezer to avoid them to melt before the testing. Take them to the testing table and start the timer. Now it's time to observe and record the scores. In my tests, I could observe how shiny layers covered the most expensive ice creams in the first minutes and how different the air bubbles appeared in the four brands. Lots and very tiny in great value, but few and big in Hagen Dazs. The cones went mushy in the bluebell tests, and finally the winner was Halo Top. It took more than one hour to melt completely. To my surprise, although the most expensive ice cream, Halo Top, was the last to melt, the second was the cheapest, great value. That means that the melting point was not only focused on the overrun, but also in another variable, stabilizers. In my experiment, I could learn how the melt of the ice cream doesn't depend only on the amount of air, but on the way that the air is introduced in the mixture. The stabilizers hook the molecules together, avoiding big amounts of air to get between them. Ice creams with many stabilizers have lots, but very small bubbles of air inside it, so it helps the mass keep in shape and not melt. That is why Great Value lasted so long in Hagen Daz that only contains X to stabilize the mixture was the first to melt. The best lesson I learned in this experiment was that families should be aware of what they are eating on a daily basis to try to create awareness about how important it is to eat as healthy as possible. Thank you for your time.